Do you know how synthetic graphite is made? We will show you. Welcome to Vinode. The first step of the synthetic graphite production is to take in big lumps of petroleum coke. We crush it and we dry it and we remove magnetic impurities. Then it's ready for milling. Our raw material is petroleum coke. It's a carbon rich uh, raw material from uh, petroleum refineries. It's a byproduct from the production of oil based materials. The production of graphite involves the grinding of the crushed coke into finer particles. This is one of the first and most important steps in our production process. This is where we achieve the right particle size and the right shape. At the impact mill step, we grind the product into finer particles. And this allows more surface to be available for the lithium ion to interact with the carbon network. This is a product before it enters the milling and shaping section. And then at the shape mill step, we remove the sharp edges of the particles in order to have more round particles which can pack better in a given volume. And this is a product after the milling and shaping section and you will see very much finer than the crushed product. In the agglomeration process, the uh, milled and shaped coke particles are glued together uh, using pitch as a binder material. So the small coke particles are glued, fused into larger agglomerates, which are beneficial for the properties of the final graphite. The agglomeration process, it improves the fast charge capabilities of the graphite materials and also the cycle efficiency. We only use it in recipes that requires these properties of the material. In the graphitization process, the carbon materials are heat treated to temperatures about 3000 degrees centigrade. And in this process, the carbon atoms rearrange and forms a very specific layered graphitic structure. The closed furnaces of vinyl are beneficial when it comes to improved process control, less environmental emissions, more homogeneous products, and higher energy efficiency. Cotization step is a critical high temperature step that transformed the amorphous carbon into graphite. The coke is heated up to about 3000 Celsius in an aerobic environment to uh, avoid oxidation. Here we are in one of our cotization furnaces, which is the heart of the plant. Here we reach temperatures of above 3000 Celsius, which is extremely high. Uh, to give you a reference, iron melts at 1500 degrees. Uh, and the coldest part of the sun is uh, 4,500 degrees. The coating process is all about uh, enhancing the properties of the graphite products for using lithium ion batteries. In the coating process, we first mix uh, graphite and pitch in a, a mixer. The premix is then uh, transferred to sagos and heated in a roller half kiln to melt the pitch and, and have it float around the particles. And then it's carbonized and creates a, a thin coating that is the pitch coating we are talking about. Pitch coating is put on to enhance the fast charge properties of the graphite particles for using lithium iron batteries. When you have the graphite after the graphitization process, we need to process through our finished product line where we sieve and we remove all the potential magnetic particles. So we have a very clean material that can be assembled on the batteries for the electric vehicles. So the requirements from the automotive are very hard and very high tech. So we need to be sure that we have clean material. We have our internal via node lab, which is managed 24 seven by high skilled professionals. And we use this lab state of the art instruments to control the material from the incoming material to the finished product line. So in this matter, we assure that the complete process chain, we always have a material inside specification to comply with the automotive requirements. 